work for a swine production company. I'm a herd veterinarian or an on-staff veterinarian and I oversee the health of all of the pigs. The young pigs are weaned from their mothers and they're brought here to Iowa and they grow for a little over 100 days and then they're ready for market. I'm just as concerned as any other mom um, for what my kids are eating. Um, so I, I think that we do a great job of raising pork and we need to be proud of it. But you know, farmers and veterinarians, we kind of just do our job because that's what we're supposed to do. And so we aren't very good at getting that message out and we're trying to improve that. Hey Frank, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you, hi. This is Hi. Jessica. Jessica. Nice I'm to Frank. meet you. Jessica nice is a senior you. veterinary student with Iowa State, so she's been with me this week, and we're just gonna just gonna walk along, and we're gonna take a look at the pigs here. All right, sounds fun. Pigs are just a cool animal. They're really curious, from babies to big sows and boars. They're very friendly. In my mind, I was always taught that we're raising animals for food, so they're here for a purpose. So it's our job to make sure that we take good care of them, because their care is in our hands. This pig has, um, it's a little bit dirty, but um, it's a pig barn. Um, but he has bright eyes, um, a good, you know, wet nose, kind of like a dog, I guess, um, but no nasal discharge. Um, basically in good flesh. So um, a pig that's thin will have shoulder blades showing here and a backbone, and this pig's in really good flesh. It's got a um, nice full belly. Sometimes pigs do get sick and our job as veterinarians is to try to make them healthy, to make sure that they're treated humanely, make sure that they're being cared for, that they're being treated when they need to be treated with the right therapy. I think as veterinarians, um, we have a lot of compassion for animals. That's the reason we got into the field that we're in. So yes, I think that we do need antibiotics in food animals. I think that we need to make sure that we are using them the right way on the right animals at the right time. Um, judiciously is the word that we use for that. Food safety has to be a primary consideration when we're using a medication. There's a withdrawal time that's been established by the FDA. Any medicine that we can use in food animals has been studied and there's a certain amount of time that we have to wait after we would give that medication to a pig before we can present that pig to market. On a food safety standpoint, it's important for human health to use medications for pigs. But I think that you can ask any veterinarian, it doesn't matter whether it's a pig or a cat or a chicken or a gerbil. We have to relieve animal suffering. That's, that's what we do.